Hey everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I want to show you a really pretty triangle scarf. So we are doing this out of just one ball of yarn and you can see the lovely glitter effect. So that's what I want to show you today. And yeah, this is about 160 centimeters on its longest side. As I said, in a triangle shape and yeah, it's going to be easy. So I'm going to show you what needle or hook I used and then we can get started. Okay, so we have here the swirl glitter. So this is, um, let's see, 50% acrylic, 50% polyester made in China. So this is something that doesn't have wool in it in case you don't want that. And we have here, let's see, 150 grams, 470 meters. So this was four euros where I found it, but the prices may vary. So you can see here the color gradient, it's a pretty big ball and I think we can get a lovely sized scarf out of this. So yeah, we start with the green but you can see the darker here as well. Let's try to find the beginning so that we can get started. And actually I am using a bit bigger needle than I'm supposed to. So I'll show you what the package says on the label we have 3.75 or actually 3.5 between 3.5 and 4 um, hook or um, knitting needle, but I am using a little bit bigger one. So I'm using a six millimeter hook this time. Okay, let's start with three chains. Then we're gonna go into the first one and we're gonna do a single. And this way, my first round or row is already done. So yeah, we're going to start again with three chains. Then we're going to turn. Here from the outside, we go in. And there, we're also going to do one single, one chain and another single. So into the first round I did one single, here I did two, and then we can start again, three for the height turn, and then here you can see the two singles, so between those where my chain is, I'm going to do a single, a chain, and then again into the um, chain section I'm again going to do a single and a chain and another single to end with. So we again did three singles for the third row, so it's always easy to remember where you're at. So we're again doing three chains for the height and then we're going to turn again. Now I can here go in and again do a single a chain, then to the next section a single and chain. Again a chain after the single and then we end with um, single, chain, and single. So each row begins with three chains and then we have always two singles at the beginning and the end. The three chains actually replace the first single that we do and the chain afterwards. So let's do that again in row number five. So you can see you get really fast really quickly because the pattern isn't too complicated. So even if you're a beginner, you're going to get a great and really good looking result. Also an amazing thing about this project is that you only need two different stitches. So chains and singles and that's all you're going to need. Don't forget to end with a single, a chain, and a single into the last spot. And then when you do that, you can start the next row right away. And you can see how quickly this scarf is growing. There we go, next row is started. And we're just doing singles and chains and singles and chains. 
So after I'm done, I'm going to show you another really interesting trick. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to do a little bit more so that I can show you what else I have. I'll start the next row with you and then um, I'm going to quickly do the rest. So remember that you always go underneath these chains. That's how you get a really lovely texture as well. And that way you always know where to go through and the spots are pretty big, so they're pretty easy to find. You won't have any issues. So even if you're a beginner and stitches are still kind of new to you, you're gonna be able to do this in a matter of minutes. And again, we're doing singles and chains. That's all we're doing. Remember that always at the end you have to do um, the chain and then one more single after that to finish. Okay, so we have again the next row. So yeah, I'm going to finish this color and then I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, so I have now my first little bit done, so my first section, and you can already see the texture and the pattern itself. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what I wanted this time. I think it's a really lovely structure, and you can kind of um, see where the singles are and how they go around the chains that we do. So yeah, this is the section that we have in this shape. So you can see the sides and I'm going to show you from a little bit further away so that you can see the entire size of it. I think it's pretty big already. And yeah, it's a little bit, um, or not a little bit, it's actually pretty stretchy and you can see that pretty quickly throughout your work. So yeah, pretty interesting, um, very soft and I also like the glitter effect. So yeah, we now have, and this is why I stopped here, we now have the color change. So I wanted to show you what those look like in today's project. So you see here the darker green, almost like a bluish green. So yeah, I'll show you in the next stitch. So we're just continuing the same way, single and chain, and then again single, and you can see the abrupt change in color as I'm working it. So there's no gradient in between the colors, you actually get changes pretty quickly, which means that you can do a really nice stripe looked um, style. So I'll show you where the beginning was and there you can see that it really was just one stitch where the color changed completely. So this is what I mean when I say no gradient, there's no between shade. So yeah, anyway, we'll continue and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am almost done with my entire ball. So I do have a little bit left over, but I don't have enough for an entire huge row that I should do. So I'll stop here and I'll show you what I have. Um, so also from a little bit further away so that you can see the colors as well. And yeah, a really pretty triangle scarf. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you like the way it looks. So if you try this out, feel free to let me know how well it worked and if you're satisfied with it. If you'd like to see more projects like these, feel free to click on the subscribe button and stay updated. And you can also let us know that you had fun with us by shooting a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye!